Hello everyone, today you will learn how to make calculations with percentages in Microsoft Excel. I will give you a detailed explanation and demonstrate everything with simple examples. Even a beginner, after watching this lesson, will be able to independently solve problems with percentages. If this video seems too fast or slow to you, then you can easily choose the playback speed that suits you. And if you want to watch videos without sound, then just turn on subtitles. I wish you a pleasant viewing. So, let's start by looking at addition and subtraction. Pay attention to this table. The first column contains numbers, and a little to the right is a column with percentages. Now I will add 15% to the number from cell D5. To do this, I put the equal sign, click on cell D5, put the plus sign and open the bracket. In parentheses, I specify the cell again, and then add a multiplication sign and click on the cell with percentages. Now I close the bracket and press enter. Done. In fact, I just used the usual mathematical formula. I will calculate the remaining cells in this column by pulling the lower right corner of this cell. Now, in order to subtract percentage from the number, I will use the same formula, only I will replace plus with minus in it. However, there is another way of calculating. Suppose there is no column with percentages in my table, but I need to add 15% to this number. In this case, I can use a simple formula. I add cell D5, put the multiplication sign, open the bracket, add 1. Then, I put a plus sign and indicate 15%. Closing the bracket. The disadvantage of the second method is that when you autofill, the same value will be added to all cells, in my case it is 15%. In general, this option is not always convenient, so I recommend you the first method that allows you to autofill cells with different percentages. So, we have sorted out addition and subtraction. Let's move on to the next example. The table below shows the amount of dividend payments and the tax rate. I need to calculate the amount of tax. I put the equal sign, select cell D22 and multiply it by the value in cell E22. Done. This way I found out the amount of tax that I need to pay. Now we move on to the following table. This time the task will be more interesting. Here is the total amount of sales and with it I need to find out the share of sales of each employee of the store. In order to do this, I select cell M22. Put a division sign and specify the cell with the final value press the enter key. That is, I divided the sales amount of the first employee by the total amount. Now all I have to do is select the cell with the received answer and in the home tab, click on the icon with the image of percentages. I did everything correctly, however, an error occurs when I autofill. Everything is simple here. The fact is that if you look at the formulas of the remaining cells of the last column, you will notice that when autofilling in them, the total amount changes to the empty cells located below. But I need to make sure that the cell M30 remains in all formulas, because it is necessary for the correct calculation, and it can be fixed. In order to do this, I will put a dollar sign before the letter M and after it.
And now I will repeat the autocomplete. This time there is no error, and the problem is solved. If I did everything right, when adding all these percentages together I should get the number 100. To make sure, I will perform a check. I click on the last cell and in the tab formulas, select the command autosum. I press the enter key. As you can see, everything is calculated correctly. It's time to learn how to find the difference between numbers in percentages. Let's take a look at this table. A William Johnson employee sold $132,000 worth of goods in 2021, and sales totaled $158,000 the following year. I need to find out the difference in percentages. I put the equal sign and open the brackets. Next, I add a cell with sales for 2022. Then I write a minus sign and specify a cell with sales for 2021. I close the bracket, put a division sign, and again select the cell with the address x22. Now it remains only to choose the percentage format of the cells. I have already shown how it is done. Good. Everything worked out. Nothing complicated. But what if we need to find the difference between negative numbers? In this case, the previous formula will give an incorrect result. As you can see, the answer turned out to be negative and this is an error. However, it can be easily corrected. To do this, you need to add the ABS function to the formula. Watch carefully what I'm doing now. I specify this function after the division sign, and in parentheses I select the same cell as in the previous formula. This time, the result turned out to be correct, and now you know how to solve problems with percentages in the Excel program. This video will be your assistant, which you can use at any time. And this concludes the lesson. If the video was useful, then like and subscribe to the channel to watch other lessons on working in Microsoft Office programs. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.